Hey, what's up, chitheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking once again about the Hovsko Porto Max scooter. You may remember a couple weeks ago, I did a review on this bad boy. And since then, let me tell you something, this thing's gotten quite a bit of use. I was on vacation in Washington for a week, and the kids were at the house, absolutely loved this thing, and they were constantly riding it. And even the big kids did too. The first video I showed you, you know, this thing has been pretty practical. I live somewhere where street parking is limited and I end up taking this to, for short trips around the neighborhood rather than getting in my truck at risk of losing my parking spot. At first, life before the Porto Max, I thought of things so two-dimensionally, you know, I thought, take truck to store. You know, I need to go somewhere. I need to take my vehicle to the store. But no, now I can take this Hovsko Porto Max anywhere I go. But these days when I go out on the Porto Max, I don't go out dressed like this. No, I don't know whether it's a midlife crisis or what. But when I go out on the Porto Max, I like people to know, hey, this guy doesn't play by the rules. This guy's unrestricted. I guess I could sit here and talk to you about it all day long, but it'd probably be better to show you. Alright guys, we are on our way to the gym, but today we're doing it unrestricted. So I've enjoyed my time on the Hobsco Porto Max. It's been extremely useful, especially in my scenario. I could see these coming in handy if you want to go camping or if you have little kids that want to use them. It's great because they're useful, but they're not so fast where you're going to end up in the hospital. Great for short little shopping trips. <laughs> you know, oddly enough, of all the stuff I've reviewed on the channel, more people have asked me about the Hovsko Porto Max scooter than any other product. So yeah, people seem to genuinely like the Hovsko Porto Max scooter. The kids absolutely loved it. They were just going crazy on this thing the entire time. They were just zipping up and down, going all over the place. Ooh. This uh, scooter has a nice balance between, you know, functionality and fun. Hovsko is doing a bunch of uh, promotions at the moment and if you use the link in the description of this video it will auto populate with a coupon. So this scooter is $449 but if you use the link in the description of this video it will automatically change the price of that to $399. That's currently you know this is April 2024. I don't know what it's going to be uh, a year from now so you're just going to have to try the link and see what it is. But as at the moment they're currently discounting other products as well. If you're interested in purchasing anything from Hosco, go ahead and check out the link in the description of this video and see if you can save yourself some money. But as for today, we're taking this back to the Dollar General, but we're doing it in style. Safety and in style. The Dollar General, as the, the locals colloquially know it as, the gin. Do they call it the gin in your area? And we're gonna zip right on in here. Go ahead. See, people already think I'm the coolest person in the world, which I am, to be fair. Oh, what do we get today? So I saw this amazing recipe for some s'mores Rice Krispie treats. I put it in our handy dandy little basket. You know, we're gonna get two bags of marshmallows because you can never, never have too many marshmallows. And one thing I forgot to mention in the first video is you see the light came on here. This has a sensor, so the light will automatically come on when you go in dark areas, which comes in pretty handy. Look at this. That could have been a disaster. Well, looks like Porto Max scooter, unfortunately, doesn't have a big enough basket to accommodate the Golden Grams. 
Let me get the Hershey's here. Cool, thank you. Uh -huh. All right, All right, and we're off. Ooh, so unfortunately, as you can see, I did kind of uh, get a little too much for the Porto Max today. I could put everything in the basket except for the box of cereal. Personally, before I got this, I wasn't really thinking about getting scooters. Scooters weren't really on the radar. I was primarily a bike channel. But after I got this, it's like, yeah, these scooters definitely have their place. So, you know, it's a nice intermediate between having a big bike and uh, walking. So I find myself now when I have to make short trips, I just hop on the scooter. I don't need to get out, drag my bike down the stairs because I live on the second story. So yeah, guys, you know, the Hobsco Porto Max lifestyle is uh, maybe not for everyone, but if it is for you, consider yourself one of the lucky ones. I would actually kind of like to see a different version of this, maybe with a more a higher power motor and a bigger battery and a bigger basket. So maybe like the Hofsco Porto Max XL. That would be pretty cool. Maybe they can even have it say like the unrestricted addiction for, you know, shoot the chit fans. But for me, personally, that'd be cool. I think honestly, this one is more set up for Ooh, a dog like the Porto Max. This one's more set up for like kids or smaller people. I'm a bit on the heavy side for this one, so it's fine we're riding around in flat ground like this. But when I go up hills, the Porto Max is not too happy with me, to be honest. But it still gets me there. We're just taking it all in today, guys. I'm going to take the scenic route a little bit. <laughs> we're out here living dangerously on the Hobsco Porto Max, guys. Unrestricted. You know, just because we're feeling extra dangerous today, we're going to be taking the scenic route. The eventual goal, the planks of doom. Let's see if the Hofsco Porto Max is up to the challenge. I'm a YouTuber, guys. I have to say this feels quite different coming out here on a scooter than it does on the bigger e-bikes. All right, guys, just ahead. Just ahead is our destination, the Planks of Doom. Now some say the Planks of Doom can't be accomplished on a scooter. We're, we're gonna find out if that's true or not today. You see, nobody's ever, nobody has ever been brave enough to attempt it on a scooter until now. So they call this the Planks of Doom because one false move can result in doom, in death. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here soon enough. You know, the first thing, look, we're covered on both sides by blackberry bushes, thorns, but it gets even worse than this, guys, because up here, we're on the raised planks of doom. And if you fall off, not only are you gonna go into some thorn bushes, you're gonna go into the water as well. So this requires precision driving. Oh no, we got a down, down branch in the middle. We're gonna power through it, coming around, current, Turn three. Whew. Oh gosh. Okay. We're still in it, guys. We're still in it. Oh yeah. Okay, guys. I can't really talk. We're in the home stretch here. Elevated planks of doom. You can see exactly what we're working with. And we made it, guys. We are back on solid ground. Woo. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the planks of doom. I know uh, that was quite... It was pretty scary in real life, I'll tell you that much. We made it. We're now into the wetlands. And I'm glad to say we made it. The Hosco Porto Max has, has passed the gauntlet. All right, guys, there you have it. It officially earns the Shoot the Chit unrestricted seal of approval. So, guys, if you think you have what it takes to live the Porto Max scooter lifestyle, you know, feel free to buy one using the link in the description of this video. Doing so is at no extra cost to you. As a matter of fact, you even save 50 bucks, and it does help support the channel. And guys, if the Porto Max isn't for you, you can use the link in the description of the video to browse the Hobsco site and it'll automatically apply the discounts to each product that it's available on. So it's a win-win. I hope you liked the video, so give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you know what? We'll catch you in the next one, guys. Take care.